So in today's video, I'm going to talk very much about the release of the driver, and in particular, how I release my right arm to get the best results with driver. Now, this is going to be really important because we know when we're hitting the driver that it's a slightly different club, but we also probably deep down know that it's just a golf swing. So should it really feel different? Um, I'm going to say no, but there's a couple of things that I'm going to talk about slightly differently here that, that makes a difference. We know that when we're hitting the driver, we need to hit up on the ball. But the way we do that is by positioning the ball further forward. So as I move my ball position slightly further towards my left hand side, that's going to encourage the club head to rise when it's hitting the ball, as opposed to if I use an iron, I obviously have it slightly more centrally and and that makes me hit more down on it. So what I don't want to do and what I don't want you guys to do is when you go to hit your driver is get the feeling that you've got to almost lean back, not move your body and kind of get stuck because we don't want that. OK, what we want is we want to move. We want to turn our body towards the target. We want to get the feeling that we're moving in towards that lead side. That is something that we need to have. However, what happens with most amateurs is that you don't release the trail arm correctly. So that if you do start to turn through the ball with the driver, what happens is that you get really steep, similar to what I'm demonstrating here. And this makes you get really stuck. So the question is, why is that happening? Well, it's a lot to do with your hands and in particular, a lot to do with your arms. See, what most amateurs do is as they start the downswing, as they start bringing the club down, they bring the hands closer towards the body. And what this does is this makes the club shaft get more vertical, which makes the face get more open, which makes you get more stuck, which means you have to stand up and the results aren't great. We don't want that. What we want is quite the opposite. We want to get the feeling of more width. We want to get the feeling that the club head in the start of the downswing is moving further away from us. The question is, how do we do that? Well, the way I do it is I'm very aware of my right palm, okay, and my right palm's relationship to my left thumb. So as I initiate my downswing position here, I'm going to make sure I turn my body towards the target, but simultaneously my right palm is pushing pressure onto my left thumb. So it always feels to me that I'm pushing the club down and towards the ground. And this is a really good feeling because it's not like I'm just starting the downswing and throwing the club on the floor. What I'm doing is I'm pushing. So you can see my right palm is pushing my left thumb. So in the start of the downswing, it's pushing the club away from me. And the reason why I like that feeling is I can still turn. So it still gives me the ability to control the club at the bottom part of the golf swing. And that's exactly what you want to do. Now, I would say a really good way and a good drill for you guys to practice is to do this, is to hold the club as you normally would and then position your right hand like so. So separate the right hand away from the um, your original hold and then just try and hit some shots like so or do some practice swings and get the feeling of turning whilst keeping that right palm applying pressure on that thumb and I promise you you'll be absolutely surprised by the results. It's a really good drill, it's a really good feeling because we want to make sure that we're turning through the ball. See you soon.